Hi, and welcome to Pezhead Monthly's Spring Loaded, a message from the editor for the December 2009 issue. My name is Joe Durant, and I am the editor and primary content contributor for Pezhead Monthly. You can visit Pezhead Monthly online at www.pezheadmonthly.com. Check out the current issue, archives of all past issues, and much more Pez-inspired craziness. You can let me know what you think at joe at pezheadmonthly.com. There's a lot to cover this month, so let's get right to it. You know, when you're a Pez head, every once in a while, there's a month when it's raining Pez so much that no umbrella can possibly stop it. If that month happens to involve a visit to a Pez convention, then it's a near certainty you'll be getting a lot of Pez. In November, even though I wasn't able to make it to the Pez in the Sun convention in Myrtle Beach, I still added a significant amount of new Pez to my collection. Let's start with the Disney Fairies. Now, I already had the U.S. and European variations that came out a couple of years ago, but in November, I added the three new fairies, Rosetta, Fawn, and Terrence. Moving on, with the current trend of Pez promotional trucks, I added no less than four of them to my collection. The CBS truck, the Wegmans truck, the Sheets truck, and the Hollywood video truck. Thanks to Mom and Dad for the Wegmans truck, and thanks to my friend Scudder for the Sheets one. Also in November, I found the Polar Bear Without Snowflakes, not to be confused with the Walgreens exclusive Polar Bear with Snowflakes that I picked up in October. And speaking of Christmas Pez, I was in Walmart one day, and I was quite surprised to come across four Crystal Christmas Pez uh, that I didn't even know were out this year. The Crystal Polar Bear, the Crystal Reindeer, the Crystal Snowman, and the Crystal Santa. But wait, I'm not done yet. I also found yet another carded Batman to add to my collection. The new Batman without logo on a Walmart short card. Not to be confused with the new Batman with logo on a Walmart short card, which I picked up in October. Also in November, I picked up a Factory Error Pollen Jack from the Bean movie. As you can see, Pollen Jack is facing backwards. I don't know if he's uh, ashamed, if he really likes his card, uh, if he's shy. I guess we'll never know. Oh, and there was one more thing that I added to my collection. Uh, actually, uh, two more factory errors, but they weren't just factory errors. They were two of the coolest Pez finds that I think I've ever uh, come across. Um, and what are they, you ask? Well, you'll have to read the, uh, the issue this month to find out. Speaking of which... It's hard to believe, but this month's issue wraps up Volume 8, yes, Volume 8 of Pez Head Monthly. And much like the Pez Bounty I experienced in November, the December issue is filled with all kinds of stuff. For starters, the cover image is a Pez-inspired reimagining of an iconic scene from the classic movie, A Christmas Story. I, it's my sincere hope that when you see it, you'll shoot your eye out with joy. In this issue, I also chronicle, in words and photos, my experiences involving two unique Pez scores. The first one is the Hollywood Video Pez Dispenser, a promotional item only available to Hollywood video stores. As for the second score, which I mentioned earlier, it was not one but two factory errors. It was also much more than that. Again, you'll have to read the issue to see exactly what I mean. In this issue, I also interviewed the Crystal Polar Bear Pez Dispenser. You may be surprised to hear what he has to say about the other Polar Bear Pez variations, among other things. Wrapping up this issue is some Pez poetry, including the first ever Pez poem in color along with a Pez Almost quote inspired by one of the biggest Christmas movies ever. Well, that does it for the December edition of Pez Head Monthly's Spring Loaded. Please check out the site for the full issue, complete archives, and much more, including how to submit your own Pez work and how to follow Pez Head Monthly via email, Facebook, and Twitter. My name is Joe Durant. Thanks for watching the December 2009 edition of Spring Loaded. Have a safe and happy holiday season, and see you next year. Take care, and as always... Keep on peasant.